the best thing to do is to put in the document words that you love, like your own writing to get started with it. And then you can start using the tools to enhance your writing, help you when you get stuck. Um, But in this case, for this one, I'm going to use guided. And the reason I'm going to use guided is because guided will read up 500 words and it reads down 500 words wherever your cursor is. So it's taking into context what's already in the story. So so I'm going to bring my creativity slider down a little bit and I'm going to talk about this in just a second. Well, I'll talk about it now. Creativity, it's labeled here and it makes you think that you're going to get cards that are like super creative. What it really does is kind of tell the AI how close to your prompt do you want it? So if you want the writing that the cards are generating to be something that you're most likely to be able to just copy and paste and put it right in and match your voice the most, bring this slider down. It doesn't mean that your cards are going to be any less, uh, that the writing quality is going to be bad. It's just going to more closely match what's already in the document. Mm -hmm. If you want aliens and lasers and, you know, cool stuff to maybe happen, maybe not to that degree, (laughs) but if you have it at the most, Sometimes it'll introduce new story elements. And a good example I'll give about this is uh, the other night in Pseudo Write 101, we were writing about an ogre with a coffee shop. And when I had it at the most, the cards it generated said, oh, the ogre was getting ready for the grand opening of the coffee shop. That wasn't in our story. We had not mentioned a grand opening or anything. So sometimes if you have that creativity slider at the highest amount, it can introduce story elements that your outline or your plans uh, weren't weren't geared toward to be able to to accept. So so in our case, I want us to be the closest to what we already have in there. So I'm gonna bring it down. You also control how many cards you get, um, one through six. When you're first starting out, I definitely recommend that you start off with, you know, one, two or three cards, especially two and three cards. I think as you guys saw, we had those four cards generate. Did you see how we pulled information from a couple of them? Um, And then you can also control how long the cards are. This is helpful too if you're deciding, it depends on what you're trying to write. In the case I'm about to do, um, I want at least 150 words. I don't quite want 250 words because all I'm gonna do is tell it to have him fiddle with the radio and put these lyrics in. That's all I'm gonna tell it to do. So those are your write settings. And then we'll do this key details box in just a few minutes because we're gonna gonna try the write button next. So here I have guided, I'm gonna click guided. And if I turn on suggestions, it can actually suggest to me what could happen next in the story. I find for the most part, it thinks very broad. It doesn't always think like right in the middle, but look at this, the AI said, hey, he could decide to call Marshall and apologize for his behavior. He turns off the highway and drives out to a quiet spot in the countryside to spend some time alone and reflect, or he realizes he needs to make things right with Marshall and decides to turn around and go back home. Can you see how the AI definitely read what was in that document before it made those suggestions? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is we're going to write our own and I'm going to say Simon turns on the radio and their couple song comes on with these lyrics. And I'm just going to paste those lyrics in that I liked that it's hard to say goodbye. And I click go. And now the AI is going to go ahead and write that section for me. Oh my goodness, look at this, the AI wrote. He was about to turn off the radio when he heard a familiar song come on. It was their couple's song, so I changed it to it was their song. The one they used to listen to when times were good and they were in love. Tears started streaming down his face as he heard the lyrics. It's hard to say goodbye to the one I loved, so I just incorporated those lyrics that I pasted in. He remembered all the intimate moments they had shared while listening to the song in his car, dancing in the living room, singing alone at karaoke bars, or simply lying on the couch watching movies together. Simon wiped away his tears and started driving again, determined not to let this goodbye be be goodbye forever. He knew deep down if he could just apologize and make things right with Marshall again, then he would do anything for them to both have. And it, I only told it 150 words, so it ran out. Um, This does not make any sense. Sometimes the AI comes up with something that makes no sense in reality. (laughs) No one's gonna be driving down the road and think of their friend's suggestion from earlier in the day of like turning off the radio, right? Like that's not something humans do. Um, So I like this. Simon reluctantly reached out and flicked the switch on the dashboard, turning, turning on the car radio. Soft static filled the air and he twisted through different stations and searched for something that might sue them. Suddenly a familiar song, I like it. I think this paragraph right here is perfect for what I need. So I'm just going to press control C 
and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to um, paste a match style so it's in there. And so now all of a sudden we have, if you highlight words, your word counter in the top right, I have 172 words that are pretty, pretty okay if I was just writing this and, and working on it. Any questions right now about guided write or about copying and pasting from cards? I know this class is a little bit odd because it's like watch Elizabeth write, which is a little nerve wracking, but I try to just like ignore. So we're gonna pretend nothing else I wrote has happened yet, okay? Well, actually I didn't write. We're gonna imagine none of this has happened about the time travel or anything. So this is one of the features that you were asking about Elizabeth. The next feature I'm gonna show you is this auto, auto write feature. And we can control auto write, especially in our write settings. So creativity is down, number of cards to, I'm gonna go ahead and punch it up to 250. And the key details box only influences the, the auto mode right here. So in my right settings, um, we wanted, you wanted the tone to be more humorous. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna say humorous. And then I'm also going to give uh, an idea here that Simon calls Marshall on the phone. and is talking to him when a vortex sucks them both back in time to an alternative history, Boston 1887, I think is what I did. I'm just gonna copy and paste this into the chat for you all, just so that you have it. And so now when I click this button, when I go to auto and I click this button, what the AI is going to try to do is it's going to read everything from my cursor up. So it's only gonna read those 187 words we have so far. And then it's gonna to try to take into consideration what I've asked for it to do here. And I'm gonna put um, humorous tone. So we'll see if it gets funny. And I'm gonna put my cursor at the end here. You don't wanna put it down here. You really wanna put it close to that period. If you, uh, another way that you can even help it get started too, is you could, you could start writing a sentence so that you're in the middle of a sentence when you click write. That also really helps the AI get going. Um, but we're just gonna click write and see what happens. So we have the song, it's kind of like that inciting, inciting incident that he's gonna call Marshall, he wants to make it right. Marshall picked up the cell on the other phone and he could hear. So, and I kind of gave it too much information that um, it just couldn't do quite in 250 words. But let's pretend that this was great and we liked it, that he wanted him, he called, he dialed, and he pulled out his cell phone and dialed the number. So I'm just gonna put that there. We'll ignore that he's breaking laws about um, uh, hands-free. So now that that information's already in there and I click the right button again, it should probably bring in the vortex. So See, now it brought in the vortex. And that's just because I had too many details in my key details. But you'll notice it didn't bring the conversation back in because basically it, it read up that the conversation was already happening. So this is one of the reasons, this is one of the ways of writing with AI I think is kind of tricky for people. The best thing to do is to put in the document words that you love like your own writing to get started with it. And then you can start using the tools to enhance your writing, help you when you get stuck. The pseudo write was never designed for you to be able to click a button and get a whole book out or anything like that. It was really designed almost as like a safety net while you're writing to help you when you get stuck. So um, I know it's a lot of information that we went over a little bit here tonight, but uh, so the rewrite button has a couple of different presets. Write, you're gonna control in your write settings. And while you're getting started, I would suggest you working with auto and guided. Um, guided reads 500 words up, 500 words down. Auto reads 1,000 words up. And with the auto, you can also kind of steer it a little bit with these key details. Now, important thing about key details. If you don't take them out, every time you click write, it's gonna keep trying to put those details in. So if you don't wanna be driven mad of Simon constantly calling Marshall and <laughs> trying to make up with him, uh, you definitely want to, to, to delete those out so that you don't have them in there anymore. Um, and that's kind of a, it's a new and innovative way, I think, to work with AI. 